Welcome to my Patreon live. I figured this one everybody could use. So enjoy. Carrier oils are very important because they are the base for your spell. So you always want to make sure that the carrier oil that you're using goes with the spell that you're doing. If you don't know what to use when all else fails, stick with olive oil. Plain and simple. It's universal. It's like the white candle. It's universal. Olive oil specifically though is great for abundance, prosperity, wealth, building, it can bring in protection, all of those things. It's mainly geared for, uh, for me, when I think of olive oil, I'm mainly grabbing it for money purposes. This is the one. Now, sunflower oil is great for same-sex relationships. It's also great for charging energizing it uses the energy of the sun so it's it's energizing it brings power to it follows the sun so it's great for light work don't use sunflower oil for any type of dark work it's not going to work it's going to cut your spell if it's going to give you any type of energy it's going to be energy to not do the spell <laughs> think of find another way because sunflower oil is about happiness and love. It breaks down defenses when you're in relationships. So if you're doing this for romance, you should use sunflower oil. Because not only is it going to empower your spell, but if, if you're trying to get a person to want to open up to you more, you're trying to get them to marry you. Y'all been in a relationship for a year and a half and you're ready to walk down the aisle. Get some sunflower oil. Put a little cinnamon in it. Put a little sugar in it. Breaks the defenses down. And it, it sweetens them and makes them do what you want. And empowers that cinnamon and sugar to get them to do what you want. But yes, sunflower oil is great for that purpose. Okay? Hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is great for manifesting. It's quick manifesting. Swift manifestations come with hemp seed oil. It's equal to like a clear uh, um, a quartz crystal. You see how like when you're doing spells, if you add a quartz crystal next to it, that makes the spell go faster. It brings in that speed. It brings in that clarity. Hemp seed oil does the same thing. Brings in that speed, brings in that clarity. Castor oil is about breaking things down. Breaking down defenses. Discipline. Having control. Castor oil does that. It's very thick. So when you're using it, if you're trying to use it for like dark purposes, you might want to grab some castor oil. It'll slow your person down. It'll break down the protection they have around them. That's why people will use it in destruction oils and things to that nature. But it's also great for breaking things down that's around you as well. So you can use it in your road openers. Any barriers, anything that's in front of you that you need to be torn down, castor oil is great for that. Blockbusters, castor oil, great for it. Great for it. It's almond oil. We have almond oil and sweet almond oil. Almond oil is about communication altogether. Okay. Almond oil deals with the planet Mercury. It's about communication, getting the message, sending the message, keeping that veil of communication thin, that veil between you and whatever entity or energy you're communicating with or person you're communicating with, the veil will be thin.
Sweet almond oil deals with communication and love and things that you love. And it can be things like money, your car, your house, whatever. But you have to have some type of affection and passion for it. And that's where the sweet almond oil comes into play. Okay, so communication all together when it comes to almond oil. Sweet almond oil, communication about things you love. Almond oil is just strict communication. If you're communicating with the planet, if you're communicating with whatever, whomever, for whatever. Almond oil. Red palm oil. Red palm oil is also about communication. It's about blessings. Is about, this is more for African traditions, red palm oil. It's about communicating with the Orishas, the ancestors. If you're doing something and you're working with one of the seven African powers, you can use red palm oil. When we make our seven African powers, oil is made with red palm oil. Jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is also great for communication, attracting wealth, attracting abundance, breaking things down as well. Breaking down barriers between two people or between you and anything to have that proper communication. Opening up the realm of communication between you and whomever and whatever as well. <laughs> Coconut oil um, is also great for abundance, protection. Health. Beauty, any type of beauty spells that you're doing, you can use coconut oil with it. Avocado oil is also good for health. So if you have avocado oil and you're doing something for the health of, and well-being of a family member, someone is sick, um, you want to cleanse them of something, you can use avocado oil. Healing. Anoint, when you're making their anointing oil, make it with avocado oil. Grapeseed oil is the last one I want to talk about as far as um, conditioning oils. Um, grapeseed oil is great for abundance. Wealth, ab abundance, prosperity, luck, good health, good wealth, all the good stuff. Grapeseed oil is for all the good stuff. That's when you're sitting in your abundance and you just want the abundance to just stay and be and you just want to enjoy it. I invite you to join my mystery school where I have created a safe place for you to learn magic and how to make your own metaphysical products. You get weekly life lessons where I teach love, money, banishing, and protection spells. You get a weekly tarot class. I do monthly prosperity spells for my top tier. And you get exclusive early access and commercial free content. Join today at patreon.com forward slash insight by Tash.